and heard from us. This goes to the ones who refused and turned down our meetings that wanted to only offer thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. I'm so sick of hearing those three words from our elected officials. While your prayers may have conf comforted you, they did nothing to absolve our pain. While you may think about May 24th, we live it every single day. While you pray that your children grow up to be healthy and happy, contributing members of society, we pray that our children knew we were doing everything we could to get to them in that school to protect them. Your thoughts and prayers didn't stop an 18-year-old from purchasing two high-powered semi-automatic rifles and all of those rounds of ammunition. Your thoughts and prayers didn't stop us from having to bury our children and two teachers. Your thoughts and prayers do not help the children that survived that were injured. Your thoughts and prayers haven't done anything in the 329 days since Uzziah was shot through his stomach, exiting his spine. Your thoughts and prayers are useless unless you have thought and prayed for legislation that you can help enact that could change this. Now, for those that want to 